So I decided it was a good idea to get Elden Ring DLC. I, I don't know what the hell I was thinking about after I had such a Jesus hard time playing this game. Don't get me wrong. This game is amazing. It is freaking tough. My goodness. Like, for me, this is actually my, my first um, Souls game that I played. Um, I beat Elden Ring. I beat the Elden Beast. I took that mofo down. I beat most of the big bosses. And I took down Melania. You know, I gotta give a shout out to my <laughs> Mimic, baby! My Mimic came through. I Mimic is OP and it is crucial to your survival unless you uh, you know it, some of you guys are just freaking monsters in this game not for me man I struggled with this game it took me a really long time to to just get a hang of it and honestly like I have not played the game in over I don't know since since I beaten it two years ago see it keep making mistakes like that um, the reason I make mistakes like that is because I've been out of the game, baby. I've been out of the game. And of course, in this game, in the DLC, you are going to die a lot. Honestly, I didn't even bother with the with the beginning boss, you know, the big fire giant or whatever the heck the name of it is called. Uh, honestly, I don't know. But the dude with the freaking walking around with volcano in his head. <laughs> or whatever but that guy oh man he was just he just kept kicking those volcano uh those those things at me and it was just dunskis i i was like nah so anyway i progressed further on into the game i follow the markers um and you know along the way you're gonna encounter some some enemies but those ones shouldn't be too hard for you to defeat on your own honestly um, I had to change my build uh, because I don't know what the hell I was doing. I had like strength and other crap. I don't know what kind of weapon I was using before. But anyways, I had to change up my build back into a a bleed build because, you know, he, he bleeds. <laughs> and when he bleeds, he can take multiple damage. So... In this playthrough, um, what I did was I equipped my Mimic with either, I believe I gave him the Rivers of Blood, and then I switched to the Yugata with the um, Ash of War that's, you know, equipped for, you know, bleed, causes bleed, um, uh, blood loss or whatever. So, after, I don't know how long I've been <laughs> playing this boss, but I felt like towards towards like this this video this encounter this 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 run right here um after i switched out my build because i figured out that the bleed build was was a was way more effective so i decided to go with the yugata and then i i switched up everything um bumped up my arcane to i don't know i think it was 50 bumped up my dexterity bumped up my um obviously you gotta have vigor and then I switched out my, um, what else did I switch out? I switched out a couple of different settings um, so I can be more effective. I got rid of my, uh, what is it called? FP, I guess. That lets you use the special moves. Um, I got rid of that, as you saw, or you will see, that I went just with, with a lot of uh, flask of Crimson Tears. I put like 14 of them mofos. <laughs> I needed every single one. I'm not going to lie though. This time right here, I almost got him. I almost got him. But he does what he does. And I got messed up. And so I just kept kept trying. I, n I never gave up. I just kept at it. Kept grinding. And I just kept fighting him until 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 i get there you know what i mean you, you don't quit 
in this game you gotta you can't quit you, you just gotta keep going especially um how tough the bosses are but like i said the mimic is really clutch there's certain times that when i was just experimenting with different weapons and it, it just wasn't working out for me um I tried the golden vow, you know, the, I don't know what the heck the weapon's called. I tried that one, um, no dice, I wasn't doing enough damage. And then I also, I think I also tried some other weapon too. I think I tried that one, and then I tried a different weapon. The blasphemy sword, I think that's the one I was using. That one actually, I think I could have beaten him with that weapon because I like the, uh, the, uh, the secondary special moves for that, for that sword. Um, because it pushes kind of like lava and sends fire towards uh, the divine beast. So, I, you know, <laughs> that one, I, I almost had him. But I don't know. Everything just changed after I tried several more times and it wasn't working out for me. So I was like, oh, screw it. So I just went to... And then my game started glitching there for a second there. So I went to go see Ronala. You know, Ronaldo. I was like, Ronaldo, what's up, my girl? I need to be reborn. And she hooked me up. <laughs> so after I seen Ronaldo, came back, and then I just kept kept at it with the uh, with the bleed build, and I just kept fighting him and kept fighting him and kept fighting him and kept fighting him, kept fighting him until you know eventually I found success. Um, like I said, I want to give a, a huge shout out to my to my mimic there that just did its thing. But sometimes when you're trying to summon him, what he will do is he will like um, like spray. I don't know what the heck that thing's called. I don't know. Like he'll fire some shit at you, and that usually takes a big chunk of your um, your. There it is, right there. Like he'll burp at you, you know, like a lion. <laughs> uh, so that causes a lot of damage and then I also had to uh, play around with my um, my what is it called the uh, the talismans because I had one that will greatly increase my stats but it will it, what it will do is the drawback is it will increase the damage that you're taking so when I was getting hit it would take like a big portion of my um, my life bar. So I took that one out and I just increased the, I took another one, I took the, the I guess the lesser version of that talisman where it doesn't increase your, um, or it doesn't increase your damage on your character or whatever. So in the end, the divine beast is conquered and you know, I, I honestly, I was super excited when I when I beat him. You know, because this game, man, <laughs> it will uh, test you. There's several times in this, uh, several times that he could have gotten me, and he has like three different phases. He has the lightning, and then he has the frost. The frost one is the is the worst one, honestly, but the other one isn't so bad. Uh, like where you can like that one that one is not that bad when he's throwing the wind at you um, it's only when he uh, goes into a different phase where he he's doing the stupid um, having like frost and, and crashes down on it the frost and the lightning you got to definitely watch out for that um, there it is right there so that one is actually the worst one because it will fuck you up like it almost killed me like if my bar was any less i would have been dead but we got his bitch ass <laughs> legendary legend fell the elden beast has been defeated well let me know what you guys thoughts are um as i proceed forward as always make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one